I have not had a single mini in Let's go. Let's go. He loves this runway. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm only gonna be gone for like five minutes. Obviously, but the more I think about it, I thought I was looking better this morning, but guess not. The more I think about it, I want to like really keep the bedroom to just being like the bedroom, like keeping clothes in here. I want to like make the bed every day, get into a healthy routine, and just like come in here when I have to. But right now, yeah, Daniel's like using the main floor to film, and my office is a disaster, and I don't really have like a desk that I want to work at. Like my desk is going to be more for like doing makeup and that kind of stuff. Let's see how productive I can be in this bed for the next like hour or so. Again? I have not had a single mini egg. I've had a few. <laughs> Don't let him eat them, Dennis. She gets them. He'll complain all day. So this didn't turn out as pretty as I was hoping it would because we had a little bit of a technical difficulty situation with these things that I got from Trader Joe's. I think what happened was they kind of melted on the drive back because I didn't realize they weren't in plastic in here. Um, so yeah, they got a little mushy. We'll see how those taste. And then I just used the Trader Joe's dressing, which is pretty good. It doesn't like wow me, but it's it's fine. It's actually good. So yesterday was definitely a weird day of eating. Whenever I leave the house, like in the middle of the day, just because I do intermittent fasting, I definitely don't eat like a full lunch. So I'll just have like a bigger breakfast, bigger dinner, and then you guys saw I had the snack at the mall. Today, if I am at home, I find that like I'll make a really big salad for lunch. She looks beautiful. I'm trying not to spill it on my bed, but yeah, I'm still being forced to be locked in my room. Just kidding, I think I could be downstairs right now, but kind of enjoying it up here. Thank you for bearing with me through the vlog part of this video. I know you guys probably came for the thrift flip, so I just wanted to let you know if you guys are new to this channel. I do like very, very formal, intensive editing thrift videos, and those just take a lot of time, but sometimes I'm like, hey, I wanna cut a shirt and show my subscribers what I'm doing. So this is definitely a more casual approach because literally all I'm gonna be doing today is taking my handy dandy fabric scissors, which can be found on Amazon. You need a pair of fabric scissors if you're gonna be into thrift flipping. They make the biggest difference. I've turned so many of my friends onto these. Yeah, we're just gonna thrift flip together. It's gonna be like some stuff that I wanna take on my vacation, but I've been meaning to like crop it. We're gonna call this thrift flip with me because these are easy, easy things that literally anyone can do. And these are all kind of things that I've had for a while. Slash, I'm gonna show you a couple new things that I hauled too. So I'm excited because I actually have some good ideas and I feel like we can like transform these into way better pieces. I'll show you what we got. So first up, we have these two white tank tops. This is super old from Maritzia. If you guys are from Canada, you know, this was like the thoughty weekend uniform. I want to give it a crop. And then this one I actually cropped last time right before I went to Florida. But as you can see, <laughs> it was not my finest no, work. No, so we're no, going to clean no. that up. I love, love, love this pink cable knit sweater, but for some reason, whenever I put it on, I feel like I'm going to be a secretary or something, a school teacher, something of that sort, even though I know those are two very different jobs, both well-respected. But I just feel like this needs to be like under the boob type of croppage. So I can't remember where I got this shirt. I feel like I got it in Montreal, maybe in the summer. I've had it for a while, I know that much, and I really love this like, hook and eye closure detail and like the open v-neck. So I think if I crop it, honestly, I'm gonna wear it a lot more in Florida, just like over a white tank with jean shorts. That's gonna be the look. All right, so you might be thinking, Sarah, 
what are you gonna be doing here to this dress? My sister kind of gave me the idea recently to cut some of the dresses that I'm not wearing because they're too short and make them into tops or tops and bottom sets. I'm not that crafty today, so I'm gonna save the scraps and show you guys in another video how you can use fabric scraps. But for today, I think this would be really cute just as a little top and like the perfect color for Florida. These are things I haven't washed yet, so I don't want to put them on my bed. But we're going to attempt to make some sweat shorts. I got these in Buffalo, if you guys remember. It's not my very expensive sweatsuit, just in case any of you were concerned. And then this dress, which I got in preparation for Georgia, is just like really long. So I feel like I can make it into a really cute top. And we are going to get crafty with this cardigan. So for top number one, I'm literally just going to be more precise with this because I remember I did this like the night before. We left for vacation for Atlanta, what a blur. And I just really was not on my thread flipping game. So I think I can easily just kind of fix this, clean it up. I also don't think I used fabric scissors initially for this one. So that's probably why it turned out so tragic. So sometimes this rib material can be a nightmare to cut because it just like the scissors will just keep getting stuck. Other times it's a dream. I feel like it's still a little wonky, but when it washes, it'll roll up. Next up, this one should be pretty easy because it's like a nice, firm cotton, but I feel like I just want to do this super, super short. Like we're going to cut this bad boy in half. And with this material, as you guys can see, it kind of rolls up on the bottom. So this should be really cute. Okay, I'm loving this. And don't worry guys, I'm saving all these scraps for another thrift flip coming soon in the future. So we got a bag for that over here. So let's do the pink sweater. I'm hoping this material is gonna be easy to crop. It should be. Usually with sweaters, you wanna crop a little bit longer than you think because they are more likely to shrink up in the wash. So like if I were to cut it like I did with the tank that we just did, it would probably be like gone. But again, that look is kind of in right now. So whatever, whatever suits your fancy. But I think, I don't know, I do want it to be short, but I think I'm gonna cut it there. So pretty much like just off of the band. And honestly, if you have someone with you while you're doing this and they kind of hold the other edge just to keep the fabric nice and tight, I found that really helps. But we are doing this solo today. So would I recommend doing this on your new white bed sheets? Definitely not because <laughs> any kind of colored knit fabric is definitely going to like shed and produce like a little Linty dust. We'll deal with that later. While I am being very precise with this sweater, I actually booked a hair appointment for tomorrow, which I'm excited about, but also not excited about because I have trust issues with my hair and I'm not going to my normal place because I don't think they have room. And honestly, I, I literally need to go somewhere like very close to home because I have like no time at all. So I'm just a little bit worried about how it's gonna look because we won't have any time to fix it seeing as I'm doing it the day before. And also of course like my hair is freaking long so whenever I dye it or do anything to it for that matter the price is like a hundred dollars more than it would be on a regularly length hair person. <laughs> all right grand reveal she's looking cute she looks like she just stepped out of brandy melville and if you guys are wondering why i'm like pulling on the shirts when i'm done with them it kind of just gives them that like rolled up finished look so there we go <laughs> Next up, the dress to top situation. I'm a little bit concerned because there is, is there a zipper on this dress? There better, oh, there is. Hmm. I'm not one to cut into zippers. This could be risky business right here. Guys, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't advise doing this and I'll let you know how it goes after. I'm gonna try and cut through the zipper. <laughs> Can't guarantee great results here. Okay, we here. We did it. So this is great material to have on hand. I'm definitely gonna be using that. I mean, some could just go out and wear this as a skirt, but it's not my personal style. So we're gonna save it for something better. It's the money. And I'm hoping that this will be a pretty smooth project since it is like a thicker, more canvasy type of material. I love when things have buttons or like little closures like this because it makes it super easy to judge where you need to cut and like keep an even line. It's kind of like having like a striped shirt, like that is a beginner's dream for thrift flipping. Right here. It's 
the money, it's, it's the money, it's, it's the money. We're gonna take my talents to the ground. What I had in mind for this cardigan was obviously to give it a crop, because I got this one in Buffalo like back in the fall, so a long time ago, and usually if I'm not really wearing a piece that I bought for myself, I'm like, okay, what can I do with it to make it more me? Why am I not wearing it? I want to wear it, obviously, if I bought it, but something wasn't right. It's not it. It's like wanting to be cropped, but it's like the mom version of cropped. Even with little cardigans and sweaters, you always want to button them up just to make sure you get that clean, even cut again. Oh, that's so cute. Guys, I'm debating on cutting the sleeves, but also at the same time, it looks really cute. So I'm like, do I risk it all? Whatever, we're going for it. Just wanna make sure it's laying super, super flat. If you're second guessing your work, just go longer than shorter. Bold and match, my friends. Just realized there was a stain on one of those sleeves too. So we had to get rid of it somehow. It's the money, it's the money, it's, it's the money, it's, it's the money. You guys would have seen this dress on it was super stunning but like where the heck am i ever gonna wear this so it's got this really nice tie in the back and i feel like i'm just gonna top it off low and then if anything i can also cut out the inner layer because that might look a little bit weird once it's cut canvasy materials are the best to cut that's what we have come to the conclusion of today the sweatpants which I'm scared to put on because I have not washed them yet but we're gonna make these into some Brandy Melville-esque looking pants because honestly the leg on these is kind of randomly small one leg before the other I forgot I was kind of going for a longer look I can't really tell if these are gonna be too short but with shorts you always want to cut up same with denim shorts just because that's the way it looks best so I'm gonna fold it over that's a great thing with pants usually it's easier to just get that even fold and we are going to cut right there and try everything on. What a journey. Hey guys, I want to update you because your girl is lazy and did I buy a sewing kit? No, but I found a million safety pins in my room and just did this. Like you just take it from underneath, you layer up a couple, of course you see it there, but like, and it kind of gets the job done. I've seen tops like this actually, where you like kind of almost think it's a bra, but it's a top. You can totally wear it out. I am super content with my lazy thrift flipping abilities here. Now we have like a tiny little shirt and a tiny little 